it's lunchtime, you're hungry, you want to order some food for a delivery, but you don't have a menu, you don't have a phone number. You do have the smartphone, but we don't use those for calling people anymore, so that's kind of useless. You could just look up a menu or look up a number true, but that's a little bit too much work. Uh, it's 2015, though, and we have apps that can do this for us. I'm Kevin Kraus with Fandroid.com, and today we're taking a look at the all-new Order Up app for Android. So Order Up is a service like some others that we've seen that offers to aggregate local restaurants onto a single online interface and provide online ordering for restaurants that might otherwise only take phone orders. So you can do the whole process, payment, ordering, finding specials, all this stuff directly through your phone. It's super convenient. Um, new with Order Up is their app for Android. So previously they've had an app, but it was more or less just a web portal for their web interface. Now we have a fully native app experience. And it starts off right here. Uh, when you open the app for the first time, you can choose whether you want to take out a delivery. It's going to use your phone's location to find out where you are. Uh, we can choose delivery. Uh, that's what we want. You can go by a street address. They also have some preset campus options here in case you're a hungry college student uh, and live off of delivery pizza. We've all been there. Uh, you also have your saved addresses. So I'm just going to go with my address and we're going to find something to eat for lunch. So it's going to search and find local restaurants. It brings up all your restaurants in a nice list here with a provided logo and name. If you scroll down, um, you might see some options that say delivery unavailable. So these you can still order. Uh, you're going to have to get uh, takeout if you order them. So um, we're going to go up to some of these options that are available for delivery. Now one thing I will say about delivery here is first of all, it would have been nice in the app to have um, a list here that said maybe the delivery minimum and how much they charge for delivery. It does this on the web version of Order Up. So before you even click on a, a thing, you know how much it's going to cost to get delivery. It doesn't do it in the app, so that would be nice. The other thing that's important to know about Order Up is if you're in an area that supports it, um, some delivery options are actually being fulfilled by Order Up themselves. So certain um, cer certain restaurants are doing their own delivery, but certain restaurants are going to have an actual order up um, representative who's going to pick up your food and deliver it to you. So those orders ch tend to have slightly higher delivery fees. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and pick something here for lunch. Um, you can filter if you'd like. You can go up and click filter if you're in the mood for a particular cuisine. Um, so let's say we wanted pizza for lunch or a restaurant that serves pizza. A lot of these restaurants around here have pizza anyway, so the list isn't going to change much. But again, the options are filtered down. Um, so I'm going to go with Michelangelo's just for now. We're going to check it out. So when you get to the actual um, restaurant page, you can swipe through this box to see the logo, the location, how close it is to you. Maybe that will give you an idea of how long the delivery will take. Uh, and you can also swipe over and so this in the app is where you are going to see things like the delivery minimum in this case it's eight dollars and the delivery fee in this case it is a dollar fifty hours payments accepted etc um, and then you can look at the menu so we've got specials here uh, they have a special code we can actually order we get a free two liter pepsi with a thirty dollar order if we use this code monday 30 in the coupon box i don't know if we're going to spend that much money today um, there's some other specials we can choose from Moving down, uh, obviously the menu's organized into pizza, uh, whatever the different things that the, the restaurant serves. So it's really easy to navigate and find what you want. Um, one bug I noticed is at the very bottom of the menu. So if I hit this beverages uh, thing, you see these other ones, they pop open. Um, it'd be nice if this was responsive and filled up to the top because beverages, you can tap it and it looks like nothing opened. You actually have to scroll up to see it. So. Uh, I think I'm going to stick with Michelangelo's. I'm going to go ahead and complete an order here real quick, and then we'll see the rest of the app. All right, so once we have everything added to our order, we just hit review order. It's going to show us everything on our list, give us uh, a basic price, including tax, any processing fees, delivery fees. You can edit this now just by tapping an item if I want to change my drink, I can change that or whatever you want to change about your order, change some toppings. Um, you can immediately delete it just by hitting an X. If you're ready, if you have a coupon, remember we saw that coupon code um, that we could use. We didn't meet the requirements and we don't need a two liter of Pepsi, so we didn't do it. But uh, then you can add a coupon code if you have it uh, or a um, order up specific code and then just hit checkout to check out. Um, if you've logged into the app, which you can do um, very easily, 
It'll have your address and your number and all your information saved, saved cards. You can save a credit card. You can choose to pay with cash or credit. Um, and then you have a list of saved cards if you've used them. You can choose to tip with cash or you can use a preset 20, 25%. Be nice to your delivery driver always. Um, or you can choose an other amount. So I'm just gonna go with 20%, pretty standard. Um, and then you get a final uh, look at your order here, the full pricing with the tip and delivery fees and everything included. You can also enter in special instructions. Um, I'm not gonna do this. I do live in kind of a strange area, but um, people can use, the delivery drivers can usually find the place. But if you have a special direction, like your, um, your doorbell's broken or there's a back entrance or you need to call a certain number to get let into the compound, whatever, wherever you live, you can enter those instructions here. When you're all ready to go, you just hit place your order and give it a few seconds to go through. Thanks for your order. Everything confirmed. We're all good to go. Gives us the number for the restaurant in case we need to get in touch and change anything uh, and click got it. And so in about 45 minutes, uh, hopefully I'll have some food here and we'll check back. All right, we got some food. It's been about an hour, which is pretty typical for delivery times, lunchtime, pretty busy. Order up app worked perfectly, payment went through fine, delivery came out perfect, everything is here as needed, no misunderstood orders, no need to put in a credit card over the phone, fine if I don't have any cash, was able to tip and everything using my card, using the app. So the new order up app is great, uh, works perfect as a native app on Android, makes it super easy to find local restaurants for takeout and delivery, super easy to order, super easy to get your food here, get whatever you want to eat, Highly recommended. Check out the new Order Up app in the Google Play Store now. I'm Kevin with Fandroid. I'm about to enjoy some lunch.